Yeah, good morning, this is Bang Bang Rail. Listen, I'll be changing my name soon, yeah? I don't know what to change it to. I'm sick of Bang Bang Rail. I think it's a bit bit young for me, that Bang Bang thing, but I'll change it and I'll let you know, yeah? Anyway, um, it was funny last night. I don't know, it's only a short little podcast, yeah, but it was funny because Matty uh, texts me. No, I'm all right, mate. Right? I'm still training. I'm really training hard. I'm in the training camp. Um... You know, he's uh, supposed to be in the Isle of Sheppey in a tra- tra- training camp over there with my mate Barney McCoy. Um, I don't know if he is. He says he is. Um, Barney let me know. And uh, what he said was that uh, he doesn't like to um, say too much on the uh, on podcasts and all that. He doesn't really want to meet people and have a podcast because he feels sorry for Mickey Phil that everybody's uh, having a go at him, yeah? <laughs> I said... I still can't believe what I said. So I, so I, said, I want to put a text back saying, "Listen, you two been too long without fish." <laughs> you old lovey dovey, you know what I mean? You're not having a food with fish or going the other way. What's going on? You know what I mean? And then fish phoned me up, and I told him. He went, "Oh, don't put me on a video. Don't not do me. He's that and Matty and all this up. But I love fish. Fish is my mate, and uh, we have a laugh, but." Um, I think that Matty's gone a bit weak on it. Um, he says he's over the Isle of Sheppey. I know my mate's got a big gym over the Isle of she- Sheppey. And he's got good pros there. And he's got good people he trains with. Um, Matty says he's there. He's, he's supposed to have lost 90 and a half pounds. The way he's going, it'd be, it'd be, well, it'd be too light. I mean, Mickey Fear looks like, I didn't want to mention his name, but he, he looks as if he uh, has lost a bit of weight. But I can't see this ever happening. It's never gonna be. It's never gonna happen. This fight never gonna happen because uh, the other people won't let. He, he won't allow it, and uh, 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 and that's it. It's as easy as that. He doesn't want to fight. You know what I mean? But um, I'm trying to get myself fit. I'm trying to get myself fit as well. Um, I was talking to someone last night who trains uh, really, really hard, runs um, a lot, and I'm just gonna st- hang on, hang on that person's towel, and uh, do a little bit of training with her. And, and crack on, yeah, and crack on, and see what I can do. Um, uh, my mate's, my, my mate here, my mate, I tell you, right, he's just bought about four acres of land. So he's going to smash it down. He's going to show me how to work the, 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 the crane, uh, the, the grab. Oh, this will be funny. And he, one of them wants me to, to start digging, uh, put, putting the trees out and all that. He said to me that he's going to build a big gym now bags and everything in it and, uh, and all that and he wants me to run it that'd be good uh, that'd be really not good I can't wait for that it'd be nice to get in here on a big heavy bag and stop really banging it trashing it you know what I mean and, and, and learn and, and getting to learn kids what it's all about I'd love to do that you know that learn kids you know that uh, you know give them respect uh, you know get your dignity there you know and uh, you know all this fighting game and stabbing game this is the proper thing boxing mate boxing is the one you know what I mean better than any other sport boxing is the one you know that's what I feel because I'm an ex-boxer I'm an ex-fighter um, listen I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I was supposed to do Kevin Paddock Sunday yeah but honestly I, for, I didn't forget all about it but, but I got involved with Terry so we, me and Terry were doing something and by the time we finished it was too late to go down to Southampton and see, Terry, and, and see Kevin but I'm now going somewhere else to see Kevin to do an interview. We're going to get a hotel, put it in a hotel and do an interview in there. I can't wait to see Kevin. I mean, I'll go back a long way with Kevin. He's put a bit of weight on, but he tells a good story. I mean, he's a good fighter, good fighter. And I know that I shouldn't keep on about it, but he did beat Lenny. He said he beat Lenny very easy. Um, he said he couldn't believe the, the, the way Lenny fights. Um, you know, and I said the same to him whilst I spar with Lenny, but... You can't knock Lenny. He, Lenny was a very, very hard man. No disrespectful then. I don't disrespect him at all. He was very good for what he did. I mean, he he done excellent, excellent uh, film work. You know, he was very, very good to talk to. You know, when he got on, when he got on shows and all that game and 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 and, and, and Tom and Com Com So I get it out of there. You know, I'm like first in the morning. You know, I've had a few, I've had a few bangs to the edge. You know. But uh, Lenny was very good. He was very good at uh, sitting down, talking to people. Very, very good, you know what I mean? And, and he put himself over. Big man, mate. Big man, 23 stone, big shoulders, big shoulders, big powerful man. I was like, I'm trying to get my my pictures out of, of, of this phone, you know, 
and put them on now and again and show people edit it. Um, I'm going to find out how to do it. The best one to talk to is my mate uh, Christian on KON TV. Um, he does it all the time. He's got a good editor. I'm gonna, I'll, I've got to know how to do it because um, he puts his son. I mean, I'd love to put his son on, on, on my channel. You know, his son's fantastic. His son's going to go, going to go somewhere uh, in his life. He's going to be a good fighter, mate. But you know, it, it, it's early days. You saw it being the bag, the pads, and all this that and the other. But it's, it's getting the ring, and you know what kids are like, mate. Kids go out like crazy, smash each other to pieces. By the time they're the eleven and twelve, thirteen, they're punchy. They're punchy. You know what I mean? I also see some good fighters, um, junior fighters, uh, and, and really, really good. But when you come to Tony Senior, they were finished, mate. They were finished. The fame, you know, they're just finished. It's, it, it's a shame. But that's what happens with kids. When they box too early, um, you know, a lot of these travelling boys they box very early, but you know, and, and, and by the time they're senior, they blow out, they blow out. It's a shame, it's a shame, but that's what boxing is. Kids love it, kids love it at, at that age. And uh, anyway, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start training myself more so, more so than I am already. Um, I'm up, I, I'm always up early. I'm always up early. I always go for a little jog, for a little walk. I love it. Um, I'll take the dogs out later. When I take these dogs out, mate, I'm going to do, I, I'm going to try and do a pod today, uh, just show you what one of them is like. You know, it would be the bitch, I suppose, it would be the, the bitch that I take. I'll take the dog first thing. You can't do a pod with the, with the dog. He's, he's a bit murdy, you know what I mean? And uh, some were saying yesterday, let them go. You, let, you know, let them off the lead. They're all right. Yeah, uh, listen, I walk with them. It's enough. You can't let them off the lead. I mean, they don't like it. I don't, I mean, I don't trust, no, it's not, I don't trust the ball, the ball boys, I don't trust other dogs, all you got to get is one dog, nip it, and it's going to pick it up and, and, and take it away and kill it, it's as easy as that, it's too powerful, mate, it's too strong, you know, the other day, there was a dog down the bottom of this fucking, this hill, I had the ball boy, the, the, the dog ball boy in my, on the lead, wrapped around my, my hand, because of the dog, mate, listen, I had my feet, <laughs> I had my I had my feet stuck in the ground, yeah, I swear I got my ankles, yeah, and he was pulling me along, he was pulling me along to the dog, <laughs> do you know, I always 17 and a half stone, I lost a bit of weight there, you know, but he pulling me down the fucking, pulling me, I was skidding, you know, you know what I mean, it's crazy, it's, it's crazy the, the strength, you know what I mean, the power of these dogs, you've got no chance, you've got no chance to stop, if one of these got older, you know what I mean, you're in plenty of trouble, you know, because, I mean, Terry boys, uh, this thing, marabones, yeah? And they crush them. They crush them. A, a pencil, crush them, mate. They just, you've got no chance. You've got no chance for this thing. But happy, I'm lucky that they love me to death. Uh, really, it's very hard. It's not easy to go through the gate. If you go through the gate to, to the dogs, it's not easy, yeah? They've got to know you. They don't know you, mate, you're in trouble. It's all right, and way they tell me and all that. But going for that gate, you know, you're not known, you're in, you're in a little bit of trouble. So, anybody got any ideas about going to the gate? Forget it. <laughs> Forget it, you know. And anyway, um, Terry's a good man, man. He's like, he's good, give, me, give me a place, uh, a flat, you know, it's, uh, it's absolutely stunning. Um, I can't wait to get out of where I am now. Um, this place is uh, it's gone downhill it's fucking finished now mate you know like um, I go down the road uh, it's crazy it's like I don't it's mad it's I think how it's become a, a foreign national um, uh, place you know all the, all the illegals come over here and they put them up in hotels and bits and pieces because I, that's all I see that's all I see it's not saying it's wrong it's all but I, I don't want to be around it I don't want to be around it mate I want to move away but there's none of that, you know what I mean? I want to move away. I don't need to be in that in that sort of environment, you know? I've had an, uh, uh, my, my life's changed. I want to change it, yeah? Not saying it's bad, but it's not good for me, yeah? And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to move, get a new probation officer. I've got a really good probation officer now, you know? But um, also, um, I've got to move, get a new one. I hope the one I get is as good as the one I've got now. I've had about six or seven. As I say, I've done nine years... Um, out on the, on the road so it, it's 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 hard work but it's fucking it's got to be done when 
an IPP, and as I said yesterday, people should help his IPPs out as much as possible. There's young kids in there that, 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 that just give up. You know, I mean, IPP's finished, but it's it's, it's still a retrospective. If, you, if you've got it, you've got it. You know, you've got you've got to deal with it. You know what I mean? And it's a shame, and it's a shame, you know, that that, that even that centre's come out. You know what I mean? It was blanket. They brought it out. It wasn't blanket, but blanket out to take all the rap for it. You know, and, and and that's how it is. I mean, he can't see people's feelings. He's blind. I mean, he can he can hear people's feelings, but to see people's feelings are a lot different. You know, I mean, to give him that job, they must have given that job because he was blind. I don't know why, because you know, you know, the way, the way it is that he couldn't see people's feelings when it, when he when he was interviewing them and all that shit, all this that and the other. But that's how it is. Um, I just want I just want to get on my life, uh, do what I've got to do. I've got an idea that I want to fight someone when I get fit, um, and I'll challenge someone, and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, um, I want to just get you know do a nice charity thing and uh, and see how it goes. Um, but uh, at the minute, I'm getting really really fit. I'm feeling good. I've lost about three inches even around my waist. My legs have gone really really tight. My shoulders have lost a lot of my shoulders, but I'm I'm starting going to start back in my mate's gym. You know, uh, doing doing some weights. I mean, I've been doing it every day, but I haven't been doing much uh, shoulder work. I do a little bit of arms now and again, but I've been doing mostly around the side, the obliques, the front, of, the front, of, the front of my, my my abdominals, trying to get all that get that way around my back, that lower back, you know, hyper extensions and all that sort of thing. You know what I mean? I do. I I know what I'm talking about, really. Oh, well, well, maybe I was a gym all for what seven years in prison. Um, so yeah, I'm 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 not a really I'm not a personal trainer really, you know what I mean? Uh, but I can I can do all the circuits and all that, and, and, I, and I'm I'm good at what I do. I should have when I come out, you know, um, I was I went down a gym called Eden's. This is not this is not about um, uh, you know putting it on just for people. But I used to go down a gym called Eden's in Ealing Broadway. Uh, listen, this gym was fantastic. Anybody goes. Past Ealing Broadway, look out for a big hotel, like a hotel, or so blue fucking at night. So you see a blue thing. You got a gym downstairs called Eden's, massive like the swimming pool. The gaff is fantastic, as many weights as you want. Uh, got all the machines in the world. I like him. You know the guy that owns it. Uh, very nice, very nice guy. Terrific guy, mate. Only goes out to help you. All the all the all the uh, instructors are fantastic. Good, good instructors. They don't, you know, don't let you down. They give you there, and they show you the best. Yeah, I was there for a bit of time myself. Um, I was in prison, and um, I come out. I got a hostel in Ealing. I was going down it every day. I loved it, mate. I loved it. I got really big again. I train, train, train. Don't forget Eden's Ealing Broadway, uh, and it's, it's downstairs, and it's a good gym. Anybody from around that area? Go to Eden's, yeah. It's a beautiful plush gym. They have parties there. You know, it's a good place. You know, what I mean, you like it. You go in there, walk around, see it. Massive pool, massive pool, jacuzzis, everything you want in there, mate. It's it's unbelievable, and it's really nice the way he's done it, yeah. And you know, go there, Eden's. Don't forget any Broadway. Um, it's not an advertisement. It's what I'm doing because the guy was a nice guy, and I remember going there, and it was, it was a good gym, and I miss it, yeah. Anyway, um, this is uh, Ray Bang Bang Hill. Please like and subscribe, and uh, and, and I'll let you know how Matty gets on and uh, it, what's going on with Matty and Fish. I don't know something dodgy. See you later, alligator. But take care, have a nice day. Bye bye.